The Change Agent Abby Award recognizes a woman who builds technology or initiatives that create social change or that empower women and increase their influence. In this area, this year's Change Agent Award winner is exemplary. She is creating the future we all want to see. She is a woman who envisions a better world and is helping to build it. And we'd like to thank Microsoft again for sponsoring this award that allows us to recognize her important work, service to all women here today. Our winner founded Laboratoria in her native Peru in 2015. Laboratoria's mission is to train women from underserved communities to become developers. This program's graduates go on to build transformational careers for themselves while filling the enormous talent and gender gap in the sector. Laboratoria students pay no tuition fees until they graduate and secure employment, where they repay a small percentage of their earnings for their first two years on the job. Now with training centers throughout Latin America, Laboratoria is leading source of female tech talent for the world. Our Change Agent Abby Award winner is building the digital talent that Latin America needs in order to thrive in a knowledge economy while empowering women economically, transforming their families and their communities. Let's learn a bit more about this year's Change Agent Abby Award winner, Mariana Costa Checa. Latin America is, is a, I mean, we have societies that are still highly unequal in terms of income and in terms of opportunities. So you get brilliant, brilliant young women. They're doing low-skilled work in the informal economy, and there's really no path to get to the other side. My husband was a software developer. Two of us and a friend of ours started a, our own software development company. That's when we realized it was really hard to find developers at that time in Lima. It took us over a year to find our first female developers. That's when we started thinking, you know what, if we can't find any, why don't we go out there and build a program to make sure we can get more women into this space. We started a pilot program, there were only 15 students. We were basically knocking on doors, so it took us a while. But I think as soon as we had our pilot program, as soon as we were able to tell that story, then things changed. Our mission is to find talent where usually nobody else is, and then prepare these women to transform their lives through a career in the tech sector, and also start transforming the entire tech sector into a much more inclusive, diverse one. So now we have five training centers, Lima, Santiago, Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Sao Paulo. We've gone from maybe 50, 60 applicants per cohort to over 6,000. Now we really have thousands of applicants across Latin America. In 2016, I received a call and I was invited to, to share a Global Entrepreneurship Summit panel with President Obama and Mark Zuckerberg, getting the recognition of leaders of the world like them. That type of exposure and recognition has been amazing, I think not only for us, but for, for every social entrepreneur out there working to build a better future. It's amazing to see that in such a short period of time, we've been able to spark this movement of women that now dream with building a career in the tech sector. That has a transformational impact in the lives of our students, but it's not only on them, it's on their families, their communities, and it's also changing the companies that they join, building more inclusive teams that definitely lead to better products. A mentor of mine once told me, she was like, if women knew that through technology you can change the world, there would be so many more women technologists out there. Please welcome Mariana Costa Checa. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Wow. So I was born in Peru, the land of good food and Machu Picchu in the mid 1980s. It was a time of violence and political instability. 
A time of striking inequality, and due to those random chances in life, I was born lucky. When I was 18, I decided to leave my country to study and work abroad, and I ended up spending almost 10 years away. But throughout this journey, I somehow knew that my country awaited. So five years ago, I finally decided to move back. And I moved back with a, an audacious dream bigger than myself. I wanted to somehow be part of building a more inclusive world, a world where, where you're born doesn't determine where you're going to end up. Uh, the problem was that I had absolutely no clue of how to get started, but conveniently, I had married a software developer. Uh, <laughs> it was through him that I discovered this amazing world of technology, a world of dreamers and builders that have the power to shape how the future will look like. And I absolutely fell in love with this space, but the deeper I dived, the more I started wondering, why the heck are there so few women here? Clearly, I hadn't been to Grace Hopper. Uh, but it was then that I realized that technology was that opportunity that I had been looking for. A growing sector with a growing demand for talent that could provide an amazing future for thousands of women across Latin America who would in turn go out and build a better world for all. So just like that, with not much more than the endless passion of three entrepreneurs, Laboratoria was born four years ago. And we exist to go out and find strong, talented women, take them through this intense, immersive, transformative six-month program where they get to become amazing technologists, and then go out and show companies that this is the talent they've been waiting for, to grow their teams and to build better products. Four years have gone by in the blink of an eye, and never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that I would be standing here today receiving this incredible recognition. We've gone from a small pilot program in Lima to five training centers across Peru, Chile, Mexico, and now Brazil. Over a thousand students have gone to our program. Most of them are now out there building incredible careers across hundreds of companies. They've gained economic independence. They've become role models and an example for thousands of women more that now dream about building a career in tech. And they're on their way to become the future leaders of this sector. To me, our students represent the most vivid reflection of the female spirit. They're building a movement of women supporting women, a movement that will forever change what it means to be a programmer and a movement that I have no doubt will transform our region's future for the better. I am so thankful to them for inspiring us to keep going, and I thank you all so much for being part of this journey.